from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started and towing the slab, Carlos Rodon. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with yeah, when it seems four, like four. there's more pressure, he's more right calm right. and settles in. He's mm. done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, nope. they get a little okay. tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Wouldn't Do chase that time. <laughs> High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Soto calls it in, and there's one away. And let's take a look at the lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Riley Green. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man, they took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly, so watch out when he steps in. Mark Canna, batting with one down, takes a strike. Just missed. And oh, another ball. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Has a beat on it. And makes the grab. Two down. That is her. The designated hitter. Went full. And next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. And fires in a fastball at 95. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Down in order go the Tigers. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in the Bronx. And today's starting pitcher, Kenta Maeda. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Different between the bullpen now to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. On to first. One gone bottom half of the first. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Here's Juan Soto. Just missed. There's no way around it. Soto is one of the most exciting players in baseball. His hitting skills are so advanced, you'd think he played in Major League Baseball in a different life or something. One down, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. His plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results.
Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Hard ground ball, base down. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Man at first with one gone. And here, runner on the go. Pulls it down, and they're two away. To the bag himself. It's a double play, and that'll end the inning. Yankees draw first blood on a solo shot. It's now 1-0. Top of the second. Now here is Kerry Carpenter. Number 30, Kerry Carpenter. The wind of the pitch. That one off the mark, and that is ball one. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Ed Drummond behind the play calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. pitch knocks that one away and we'll do it again Rodon ready here it comes spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another and now the lefty slider misses outside Up now for the Tigers. Liner, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, apparently he was ready to hit right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. That one fouled off. Veerling leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pick. Rodon ready, the 0 2 on the way. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Keith. Edge of the zone for a strike, 1-1. Tying run is at first. Here at the top of the second. One Next ball. pitch misses way outside. And he deals just oh. off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. 
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing as a player, you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Javier Baez waiting to hit for Detroit. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Tigers leave one, and it remains 1-0. Back in the Bronx, we head to the Four bottom Yankees. of the second, and stepping second in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Maeda back to work. A yeah. swing and a miss, and that's strike All one. one. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. And a strike to Glaber. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. One Not ball. close with two that strike. one. And yeah, the count one and two. Out to short by it. Sends it to He's first. Out. Lead off man retired here in the second. That is good. No left field. Here's Alex Verdugo. And there's a strike on the outside corner. One out, base is empty. And he grounds one back up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a play, and he reaches safely. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Oh, Throw to second. Ow! Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit-and-run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope. And that just oh, misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one All is two. upstairs. Two, two, the count. Two outs. And it's a three up, three down inning. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Here at New Speaking Yankee the Stadium Bayes. in the Bronx, Javi Baez digs in right side. Baez, in his ninth season, 31 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And a foul ball. The lefty fires. One ball, two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Another one, two. 
and so. he's there at 98 miles an hour. And now the batter okay. is Carson Kelly. Kelly. And a foul ball. The Tigers down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. This ball's chopped to the ground. Volpe. Now the throw to first on the He's run. Up. And that quickly two away. Now that the So the batting order turns over. Riley Green will hit next. He's 0 for 1. That one finds the zone. And it's 0 and 1. Swings through that one for strike two. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball up the middle, Torres. And the Tigers retired one, two, three. Tigers are shut down there. They're down one, nothing. Here in New York, leading, leading off, off for the Austin Yankees. Wells. The catcher. Austin. Austin. Wells. The right hander back to work. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Trent Grisham to the plate. That Off one drifts plate, inside. One. Wells gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one finds the corner and the count one and one. And another ball. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. And the righty deals. pitch good job to fight that one off he hasn't gotten the result yet but he's got to feel pretty confident three foul balls in a row he's right on this pitcher next Helpful. offering is downstairs and a foul ball he stays alive payoff pitch Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect. And he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch, not close. First one away. Hit on the ground might be two. 
Over to Baez. Oh. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. Yankees one, and the Tigers nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Mark Canna. Pitch. And that's, that's downstairs and outside. Hey. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One and one. The pitch. That will be close, rule the ball. And yeah, that's ball two. One strike. And ball that's three. in the dirt. And a 3-2. In the air to left, down the line. Verdugo makes the grab, one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. That's through there for a strike. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. Almost got him. Two strike. Just missing there. Two and two. Bows it back with two strikes. One down, base is empty. That one just misses. Wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. Soto moving back for it. Pulls it in on the warning track. So they go quietly there and midway in the fourth Yankees won and the Tigers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four and stepping in for the Yankees Juan Soto. Soto. And a pitch. And that's off in. the inside edge. 1-0. Oh, and oh. okay. and he takes a strike. Okay. The 1-1 is fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. 
And That's another ball. Two balls, two strikes. The 2 2 now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an event like that one. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball a little more straight and velo to it. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And Whoa, that's outside. That and it's one and one. Smoked in the left. Base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lift it into the outfield with a base hit. Those always feel great. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And a good eye there. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Oh, Over to Baez. He's Over out. to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four. Yankees one, and the Tigers nothing. Back now in the Bronx. New inning getting started. And stepping in is the speedy Matt Veerling. Rodon back to work. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Nope. That's inside. Ground ball right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to the tie The first base center. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Fastball in for a strike. Going oh, one. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Now back. Second base. Cole Keith. Cole Keith up now for the Tigers. Struck out swinging his first time. Counts one and oh. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Upstairs. Whoa. Next offering is in for a strike. Right back to him on the mound. Gets it to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Yankees won, and the Tigers nothing. 
Back in New York. Go. Here's Glaber oh, Torres. Yeah, yeah. The second baseman. Glaber. And the pitch. That's out. The wide to kick the pitch. That misses. Nope. And it's 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no friends. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Two ball, one ball. And now it's even two. up. Two, two, two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Now about it. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. Will oh, chase right that there. time. Oh. And another ball. That one missed, now three and oh. And there's the automatic. And that's, that's ball four. Ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right now there with such tight, quick discipline. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Run around the move. And there's a foul ball. That one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. you got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. They take the out. force out, gets him easily, ends the inning. The Yanks lead one, but they hold a one-nothing lead. Back at Yankee Leading Stadium, off, the, the batter now, Javier Baez. Javier Baez. Here comes a pitch. The That's shortstop the ball. takes the ball. Ball one, no strike. And a pitch. Ball and that's two. too high. And ball another ball. ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. There's a strike. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And the pitch. 
Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo drifts towards it. Oh, he brought it back. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming over instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here's the catcher to hit. Carson Kelly. Edge of the zone. Call the strike. It's 0-1. The Tigers trailing by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. And a foul ball. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Rizzo calls it in, and there's two away. Now at the center field, Ryan. Here's Riley Green. Just oh, off the outside edge, and it's one to know. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Next Two offering one. is outside. This one in the air center field. Grisham settles under it. And that's the third out. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Yankees one and the Tigers nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Oh, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. This one rip, but foul to the right. Just misses with that one. Got him looking for the K. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was no, strike three. Right, doesn't right, get right. the call. Bears no, down. Right. Throws and another there. quality pitch for the strikeout. Oh, hey. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. One down, base is empty. In the air, out to center. Green settles under it. Corrals it. And there are two down. Now bad at The right field. Juan Soto now. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Hit weakly on the ground, and that hits the bag. Boots it. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. It's Aaron Judge now. Now feel playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. 
just missed. Soto off the of first with two away. Judge rips that one. Carpenter in position. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they still lead it 1 0. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's Mark Canna. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. In there at the knees, going on. And there's a ball. Movement in the Yankees' pen, number 39, preparing to come on if needed. Marinaccio also throwing. Looking to get the tying run on base. Hey. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Breaking oh, ball yeah. inside. Now two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. ball and it remains a full count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Three two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. In the air right field. Soto going after it. Puts it away for the out. Now that Wenzel. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. Right Aye. down to shoot. Going oh, one. That's the outside corner with that one. And now the lefty. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Harry Carpenter up now for the Tigers. Fought off foul. The pitch. On the corner for a strike, and it's not a good two. And that one upstairs. One ball, two strikes, the count. Two outs. That's ball two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw on to Rizzo. That's out number three. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Bottom of the seventh. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. And he deals. Kicks and deals. 
And that one fouled off. 0 and 2 now. Inside, ball one. Out to short, Baez. Jump throw. Awesome He's play out. there. The bat, the, the second base. Laker. Joe Here is Glaber Torres. In there, and it's on one. That one at the knees for a strike. That's down and in. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Torkelson. Two up, two down. The left fielder, number, number 24. 24. Alex. Two oh, outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. And immediately pumps in a strike oh, to the left handed hitter. That nope, one missed. That's the ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Brings it in. That is the inning. Three up, three down that time. We look ahead to inning number eight. Yankees one, and the Tigers nothing. Ready to begin the eighth, and now Matt Veerling. The lefty fires. Aye. Movement in the bullpen. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Base hit into right center. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Up next to the Tigers. Dominant performance for him today, Boone. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new one. Number 39 comes on now. No outs. Runner at first. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. High in the air, out to right. Soto gets under it. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Colt Heath up now for the Tigers. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
Goes up empty. That's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Just yeah, missed. They were 95 to finish him off. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but oh, certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Holton. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. The, baseman, Oswaldo. the pitch. Cabrera. Hey. Oh, one's the count. That one, one, one not close. One and one. Out there to center. Green on the run. Tracks it down for the out. And a quick out number one. The catcher, number 28. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. Come on, Yankees. Aye. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Andrew Chafin getting loose for A.J. Hinch. In the air, left side, two away. The center fielder, number 12, Trent. Two outs, base is empty. Trent Grisham now at the plate. Ball one. Counts one and oh. The pitch. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. The pitch. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Gets the call, and it's three and two. Okay. And they'll do it again. The line of the pitch. And that one That's off the four. inside edge. You walked him. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Volpe stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, and one. And a foul ball. Grisham, the runner at first with two gone. A 
next offering popped in the air right field makes the catch inning over the Yanks leave one they lead it one nothing. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Clay Holmes. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. Here comes a pitch. This one popped up, middle of the infield. He's under it. Going up and down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Okay. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little right bit and popped it up. Back to the top of the Detroit order. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Riley Green. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. And that one fouled off. The other way, he makes the catch, and there's two down. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. One run game here at the top of the ninth. This one high in the air to left center. Touches down, that's a hit. The bat. The bat. A pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Runner at first with two away. And now the DH, Wenzel Perez. Three strikeouts already, he's 0 for 3. Fouled off. He was late. <laughs> Righty to the plate. Oh, damn. With the tying run on at first, here at the top of the dive. That one the other way. Fair ball. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help soften the blow. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter, down to their final out, but an opportunity to deliver. Little chopper rolls foul. Strike away. Got him looking for the strikeout. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today.
Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. One run on six hits. No errors.